told you guys, man, if I wasn't doing social media or being an entertainer or whatever, uh, artist, streamer, baller, hooper, whatever you want to call it, man, um, outside of just being a barber, if the barber didn't happen to work out, I'll be a substitute teacher. You know what I'm saying? So I'm your substitute teacher for today. If you shoot your shot, you don't miss. Let me get a heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check. Can I get a heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check, heat check. Or these Knicks players have no talent, bro. I'm sorry, bro. It's not trying to be the asshole of the day, bro, but they just have no talent, bro. Like, is their best player supposed to be that rookie Julius Randle or something? That dude's a bust, man. The seventh ranked team in the country with two future NBA players in RJ Barrett and Anthony Simmons. I've never heard of either of those this two. This is a future NBA Must player. Must not be doing great. Still this in the NBA. What they do, flight crew, FTC. Flight team stand up! Hey man, since school is out, I'm your educationalist teacher, man. We have scarier sea creatures that are scarier than the Megalodon. Hey man, we're looking at this uh, Karasley Vert dude. Um, he barely scored 50 points in the last game the other night. Uh, I've never heard of this dude. Um, these one to two A contract players are going crazy, man. Yeah, and Bean and Simmons is just lazy, bro. No reason they should be on the floor. TNT, nationally televised game, bro. It's pathetic, bro. You got nobody's on the court right now for the Sixers right now, bro. All these players literally had two quarters left in their contract, bro, and it's it, bro. Back to the G League. They're trying to, they're trying as hard as they can on television, bro. I, and I feel them. It's their chance to shine. It's just too easy. It's too easy. It's like playing high school team right now, bro. I'll drop everybody on the Sixers starting lineup right now tonight off. Why is KCP dribbling? It's my floater. He's been watching my videos, bro. I think just curfew early. Why would you punch your mom? Fuck like the feet were hurting, bro. Bro, you know what, man? I don't care what nobody says anymore, bro. I'm sticking to what was not broken in the first place, bro. I'm wearing the Kyrie's again, bro. I want to wear the Curry's, but they're too tight because my the way my feet are. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta remember that I play football too, guys. So I got football type of feet. You know what I'm saying as well. So yeah, those are my type of feet. You know what I'm missing, everybody? I think I'm missing one accessory. It sounds a little bit strange and funny at first, but I think every player in a hooper needs an accessory. Back in the day, especially when I was in my prime prime playing basketball, I used to wear an arm sleeve on the left arm. Even though I'm right-handed, it was just an accessory I had just to make, you know, have a feeling for something. I think I might go back to that 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 short arm sleeve. Or, I remember I also had a knee brace, too, when I had my groin pains and everything. Um, I had it on my right knee. I think I might go back to a knee brace. I think I'm missing one accessory, and you're going to see an increase in my skill. About time, bro. I'm going to be wearing it soon. I just don't want people to be thrown off when I wear it soon. I'm tired of seeing breaks, man. I know by June when I'm dunking efficiently, consistently, I'm going to be wearing probably um, a leg sleeves uh, a lot more. He had to up his game or he was going to take a beat in all season, but this dude is probably the most garbage point guard I've ever seen, bro. Like, imagine airballing layups in 2020 in the NBA, bro. Man, what the NBA looked like 10 years ago. It is 2019 when this video was being made. 10 years ago, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, <clears throat> um, 2001, right? Right? Or 2000? I'm going to say 2011. Like, there's one more one after the one. That's what I was saying an abbreviation for. But doctors told me I was supposed to be like 6'6 six, six at least. You know what I'm saying? But I stunned up my growth spurt because I started smoking early at an age and shit, and that happened. So, Flight has a record of 9 and 34, which is kind of surprising because I couldn't believe that there were actually nine people who lost the flight. Those nine games are Ellen Hughes. Whoa, Flight. what's my IRL record, bro? Are you slow? Not because I had a process. Just showed you. I had a process this shit. It was bold on the screen in bold letters. It was in bold letters for one second. It was seconds. nine and thirty-four, if I'm correct, right? Flight, it was right there. What are you looking at? It says Flight Reacts Record, nine and thirty-four. What the hell are you looking at? I wasn't finished reading the top letters. Relax. To this day, we're nine and thirty-four. By June, this record is gonna be. We're we're having by June we're having at least forty wins. Forty wins. Yeah, forty we're wins. We're having at least forty. Forty wins. 
I'm literally gonna be playing like 50 overalls. Like, like by June. I t- I said that I said I handled that last February, but especially in the middle of March to the rest of you know what I'm saying uh, what comes after March, uh, June. No, 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 it's April, right? Or May? March, May. After May, I'm gonna be I'm literally playing 50 overalls, stretch bellies. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's literally beating me, bro. 40 wins. We're doing it. Clippers here on Man, Clippers should be ashamed of themselves on national TV, bro. You kept, bro. You lost by like 20 points, bro. Come on, man. But look, he partially did the Rondo. It's like called the half half fake. You know what I'm saying? And he did the floater. That's literally my type of shot. I just didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't have the cameras on too when I did that plenty of times before and made it. But that's dope, though, yo. NBA players really watching my uh my stuff, bro. RJ Barrett. RJ who? It satisfies with simplicity. What can't milk do? Yo, Oladipo thinks he's nice. Stop. That was alright, bro. Why are you even playing, Cash? Bro, I did way better than this. You're not even putting up a game. Bro, imagine posting a loss, bro. If you lost. Now you're fouling. Why would you even post this, bro? What injuries do they have? There's no injury that they have. Nice. I don't know if that was alley for pass. Horford's getting old. He has to shoot them threes. One more dunk. Them knees are going to pop open like a damn uh, Sprite bottle in this motherfucker. <laughs> that ain't funny, but it's not. It is. Um, hey, fam. How long you been rocking Adidas for? All day. All day. <laughs> Bro, why is his legs like that, bro? How is this dude this flexible, bro? I just, I don't know what to do anymore, man. Like, she wants to turn into a dude. How is he that flexible, bro? What the fuck? You want to know one of the main reasons? This is the highest scorer on the Nets, his name was Spencer Den Whitey with 23 points. I like that. Gets by Tyson, gets two. That dude right there stole my move. He seen he's about to be off by the end of the week in the NBA and shit, uh, cause his contract's about to expire. So he he had to look up some moves and shit. It's my euro. Did that plenty of times before. Most of the time when the camera's off, but I've did it a couple times with the camera's on and shit. You know. He's not smooth enough. They're losing by almost 30 points right now. 58 to 73. Make that 32. <laughs> And right now, both teams remain in the building. They remain in quarantine at the arena, I'm told. Bro, what does quarantine this mean, bro? A remarkable situation, and I realize it is... Somebody it is send me that shit. What the fuck does that mean? Corona. Every time I hear about this coronavirus, it's talking about quarantine, bro. I mean, you know, Curry's injured regardless, so at least the season won't count. You know, LeBron's mad as shit right now because he was trying so hard. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, players, you know, like, you know, that, uh, what's that, what's his face? That Jay Morant dude that was falling off recently. At least he's happy. You know what I'm saying? Because he was, he was hot earlier in the year and now he's irrelevant as shit right now because Zion is taking over the league. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Rudy Gobert's irrelevant. He's a nobody. He, nobody doesn't know who he is outside of basketball. Let's not give him credit. Donovan Mitchell is an all star. You know what I'm saying? So, Donovan Mitchell, just like, put yourself in his shoes. Imagine you being an all star and you work this hard to get to your point in your life where one out of a million kids get a chance to play in the NBA. And you, you actually become an all-star. You know what I'm saying? And then now, it sucks, but he's damn near going to be known for being the first people that is popular in the United States to catch this virus. You are all safe. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. We are all safe. That dude is such a casual. <laughs> Thank you for coming out tonight. Please leave in a, 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 a fashion. And the official announcement just came. Connor posting up baby. You couldn't even pay me to go to the next game. Look at that. They let old head Vince Carter. This nigga nuts is literally sagging with his knees, bro. No homo if that was homo. I don't think it is. It just shows how he... It just proves that he's old. That's what I was trying to... Uh, uh, say, letting this dude Vince Carter attack the paint like that. That's the way to go. You put your money. Imagine like if you watch me play one of you when you put your money. Put your money on me first. Oh! Damn you! Fly! Oh! 
See, like, you know, I play so much games that, like, you know, I remember the outcomes, but I don't remember exactly what I did in the video because I'm not a robot. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, man. Like, oh. hold on. Oh! Fly! You double dribble! Oh, are you? Bro, I know he didn't. I know he didn't just say this, bro. Like, bro, you can tell Cash probably never, like, had to have watched AM1 or something, bro. Like, or anything. I mean, this move didn't even come from AM1. Like, it's a legal NBA move, too. But, bro. That's not a double dribble. I fooled your eyes. You know what I'm saying? It's a, literally a ball. That's probably low-key one of my favorite moves in my animation package, bro. Um, the reason why is because this fools a lot of lockdown defenders specifically. You know what I'm saying? Defenders that are ready to block and pack your shot. You know what I'm saying? Just on go. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to, you know, look, look. I wish I could slow motion it here, but I'm not watching through YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to catch my hand. Look. You see what I'm, if you see my hand... I don't fully grip the ball. Like, look at my water bottle right here. Like, my hand is, like, inches away from the ball. And I still have a dribble. You know what I'm saying? I didn't stop dribbling. I'm not carrying it. It's still midair. It's just that, like, because of Newton's gravity, I'm able to have the ball kind of, like, sticky to my hand like Spider-Man. Like, I have the Spider-Man web and shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like...